What's going on guys, so just a quick off the cuff video and like the reason why it's off the cuff is because I'm really focused on like being as productive as possible and getting more stuff done in less time. Now, uh, like mostly when I create a YouTube video, I, I block out like two, three hours on like my work schedule. What I do is I'll uh, look into a topic that I want to talk about, I'll set up the camera, get a ring light set up, um, adjust the mic, you know, I'll probably like, go over in my mind of what I'm about to say, I'll make sure like, the lighting in the room is okay, yeah, I'll record it, then edit it, you know, like as, as, as properly as possible, as professional as possible, uh, intro, auto, color grading, upload it to YouTube, and the whole process takes like two, three hours. And um, basically what I'm trying to do now is I'm trying to get more done in a short amount of time, and the reason for that is Parkinson's Law. And this is something that I also explain a lot in my ebook. I've got an entire chapter dedicated to uh, productivity, automation, outsourcing, and also batching. So uh, in my ebook, I explain, um, I can go really in depth about Parkinson's Law, and I explain that uh, work shrinks and expands like to the capacity, like, to the time that you give it. So uh, let's say, for example, you give yourself a month to finish a project for school, then it will take you a month because uh, more often than not, because you've got a month time, the first two weeks don't do anything. Then after two weeks, you think, you know what? I'll low key start, you know, get started on it. I'll do a little bit of research while you're watching Netflix. And then like towards like the last few days of that uh, project, you know, then that, that is when you get into that focus mode and that is when you get as much done as possible. Now, if you would have given yourself a weekend to finish that project, chances are you would have completed it in one weekend. Same goes for my ebook, uh, the Lifestyle Design Playbook. I gave myself a week to write an entire ebook and publish it, and I've done it. Like, it, I'm not gonna lie, like it did uh, cost a lot of my time and I had to put in a lot of work, but I did get it, get it done in a week. Like, there's not a lot of people that can say that they've uh, written and published an entire ebook in one week, and that is because I understood the whole concept of Parkinson's Law. I understood that, you know, if I give myself a very short amount of time, that I'll immediately get into like a focus mode and get it done in that amount of time. And uh, basically the whole reason for this video is so you guys understand the whole point of, or the whole like, concept of Parkinson's Law. So just think to yourself like, in what situation am I giving myself a lot of time to do stuff? And is it necessary to take that amount, that much you know, time to do it? So for example, uh, with the business, with the agency, we've recently been taking um, a day off in the week so um for like for both me and my business partner that is sunday so sunday we sort of you know switch off uh gotta be honest it's difficult for me because i really do love what i do and you know i do check emails and stuff like that but uh, the majority of the work gets done monday to saturday and the like the work times which uh, i noticed that uh, quentin and jovan do in toronto is as soon as they wake up in the morning they or I like straight into productivity mode, and then four o'clock, four o'clock in the afternoon, they switch off, they chill for a bit, you know, they get focused on like other projects, they look at the personal brand, see if they can improve that, you know, and they just relax. And it's not that they're not getting as much done as I am because they're getting the same amount of work done just in less time because of Parkinson's law. So because they have given themselves a, themselves a smaller time frame in the day, the more productive throughout. Whereas I basically just give myself the entire day to work. And I'll do like a work block, then I'll go to the gym, then I'll have something to eat, then, you know, I'll watch like a YouTube video or I'll look into like a certain concept that I want to know more about or I'll uh, do a course or anything like that. Like, I take my time because I know that I've got the time and basically what I've been doing this week is give myself less time, so trying to get everything done by four o'clock and I'm getting the same amount of work done because of Parkinson's law. And those are like two hacks that I do want to give you guys as well is if you're working on like a side hustle side project or you're trying to get your own business up and running then you know try and challenge yourself by taking a day off and also limiting the time that you're available to work on that project so let's say for example you work nine to five and then from uh, five till nine at night you know you work on your, your side hustle or your, your startup knock an hour off that do five till eight and see if you can still get the same amount of work done or if you work Saturday and Sundays on your on your you know your project, try and give yourself only Saturday and just see if like what the effect is going to be on um, on you know whatever you're working on and uh, like the whole concept of Parkinson's law is basically 
uh, Tim Ferriss for our work week and also Josh Kaufman in the personal MBA. They both like discuss this topic and they also use it to their benefits. And that is like when once I really understood the whole concept of Parkinson's law and now I have slowly starting to apply that to like my work days and work weeks as well so guys if you want to know more about like batching uh, getting more done productivity outsourcing automation anything like that then i highly recommend lifestyle design playbook it's all about how to design the life of your dreams i discuss like various financial vehicles uh, drop shipping amazon fba personal branding social media marketing all that lot it all gets discussed in this playbook and basically uh, after reading the entire book you have a basic understanding of all the various uh, like financial vehicles and you'll have enough knowledge to pick one and just go all in on that one financial vehicle. Anyway guys, hope you got something out of this video, short and sweet, off the cuff. Leave a comment as well, like what in what way can you apply Parkinson's Law to your life right now and let's see if you can get more done in less time. Anyway guys, thanks for watching, like, share, comment, subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Gotta do what I gotta do.